So, Arsenal 2, Bayern Munich 2. At least it weren't 5-1, Kenny. You were at the ground, you're still there. Um, very, very disappointing in the end. Obviously, we um, gifted them two goals after complete domination of the first 20 minutes. And then, yeah. bang. Yeah, bozo jeans left, right and centre. Defensive errors left, right and centre. And then, bang. After Ben White could have put us 2-0 up, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> like, and, and it was at that point, we're sitting there. Me, Ola... I'm sitting there going, oh, if that was anyone but Ben White, that's a goal. Yeah. yeah. And then all of a sudden, in the space of five minutes, we're two one down and look rattled. Second half, we're going, yep, yeah, let's see what we do second half. And he brings Zinchenko on. Yeah, but he, he, but, yeah, but he had to. He had to bring Zinchenko on because Kivior was getting absolutely roasted by Sane. I mentioned yeah, but I mean, I, yeah, yeah, maybe Maybe so, but you've got, from a tactical point of view, first and foremost, Kivior's playing because he played himself into that position. He's played himself in the form. But if you remember what what we saw in um, in, in Porto, we saw it at the Emirates. He struggled a bit with Conchichal. Now mm. Conchichal is no Leroy Sane. So the thing with Kivior, if you Kivior struggles, like if he, if he gives a, pl- a player a yard and the player runs at him, he, he struggles there. If he gets tight, he get he, he gets spun. He, he, then we're, then we're in a we're, we're man short, and that's what happened consistently when he played against Leroy Sane. Leroy Sane knew all he has to do is open his legs, run. If he cuts in, Kivion struggles. If he goes down the side of Kivion, he struggles. If he gets tight, all he has to do is do his quick feet, back heel, and get past him. And that's why I always say Kivion is perfect for the Premiership. And if you look at the team that we have on display, this is a Premiership team. This is not a European team. You've got people rip. rip People are too presumptuous in right off Bayern Munich. And what people need to realise, and they've got to realise it pretty quick, Bayern Munich are not Burnley. They're not West Ham. They're not they're Newcastle. Not United, yeah. and they're not Sheffield United. Kenny, but know, this was what, the only channel that was saying this, by the way. No, we were the only ones. It, and, yeah. And, and, yeah, but everyone was saying, oh, Bayern are this and Bayern are what. Look, a team, a team with um, Musiala, Sane, um, Goretzka, uh, Kimmich, Kane... You know, p- plays like that, you can't write them off. And you've got Neuer, who, in many people's eyes, is still the best goalkeeper in the world, in the world at the age of 38. You know, as I said before, this is the competition that they've only they've got a chance of winning. They're going to give everything. So, do never write them off. We, our passing was, was scratchy. It was slow. It was mm. ponderous. Predictable as well. Which, which, which we're not in the Premiership. Because guess what? Teams in the Premiership ain't good enough to put us under pressure. Not good enough to punish us. You know, in in um, on a, on Saturday, you know, in a you know in our game in the league, no one goes around and races roasts Kivior. No one um, puts Rice under pressure. No one um, gives Ben White um, you know a, a run for his money. And no, and no one um, you know gives our defenders a run of money. Who backs into our defenders and wins free kicks in the Premiership? It doesn't happen. That's why. Mm-hmm. But that's why I'm going to say this controversially. Forget Europe. We're not winning the Champions League. I said it before, so you can't say that hindsight is 2020. Because I said it before, it's our best chance of cooking is to win the league. We are not good enough for, for the Champions League. And it's not a disgrace, Lee. It's not dis- a disgrace. It's actually a compliment that we actually got to the quarterfinals. Let's not, let's not re- forget, it could have gone either way against Porto. And this is Porto. Yeah. Who, who, who are better on the ball than us. It's a learning experience. And we're going to get better in this competition if we add, add, you know, add a few ingredients to what we've got already and buy when we're strong. But right now, the, you know, the levels, you know, shouted. It didn't sink. It didn't, it didn't talk. It shouted. And that's the thing. The that is Bayern Munich that lost to Heindheim, Heind, 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 you know, struggling against Hamstadt when they won 5-2. You know, lost to Dortmund in the, the Classica, you know, is 16 points behind. Um, they Levy. gave up, Kenny. We were all saying this for yeah. weeks, mate. Yeah, we yeah. were saying respect them. We said on the podcast on Monday, yeah. one mistake, bang, they'll score. Yeah, uh, and, and, and we that's gave them two mistake. mistakes and bang, they scored twice. Yeah, yeah, the only yeah, two but, shots they had. Yeah, but, it's, but yeah, but they created a few chances. Setting off, they've still created. Harry they should have won it at the end with Kingsley yeah, Coleman yeah, as well. Came, yeah. Harry Kane's in that does balls where he was, he was finding the oh, he was unreal, he, he was something. unreal you know, yeah, you know like I said Claybury's back the goal had no problem doing it. won a lot of free kicks I thought Goretzka for their first goal was brilliant 
But yeah. the, my man in the match was um, Lama. Lama, you know, basically, sh- you know, Sandal Marks, Martin Odegaard. He was comfortable against Odegaard. Odegaard, I thought, struggled against him. You know, him. And that's not I actually thought Scott's he was our best player. That's wild. Yeah, no, 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 you were there. No, you see it live and see no, no, bigger no, 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 This is a criticism of Odegaard. Odegaard mm. did play well, but Odegaard didn't get into advanced positions because of the position of Lama, where Lama, he yeah. had to go a bit deep. You had to play a bit, a bit long. And if you notice that some of his passes weren't coming off, some of his free kicks weren't coming off because they were in tune with what we were doing. And that's the thing. Europe is the greatest equaliser, and that's why the Champions League is so hard to win. All eight teams have genuine quality. And, you know, you can't write off anyone. Everyone was saying, oh, yeah, Dortmund will be easy. Well, Dortmund have got good enough players to punish us for the mistakes we made that day. You know that PSG have got those kind of players. You know, Alec Madrid have got those sort of players around Madrid. I don't know what happened in the, the Benabayo. Oh, mate, some... that, that, that was 3 3. Apparently, mate, the Foden's goal, Bardiao's goal, Valverde's goal. Bro, what a game. And, 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 and that's the thing. Even against Man United, Man City, if we're lucky to get to the semi finals, I think, you know, they've got the experience. They've got the know how to, to cause us problems as well. Look, this is a great achievement for us to get to the, you know, to the Champions League quarter finals. But you've got to learn quickly. Team selection has to be, you know, like, you know, a 360 turn. Kivio your cannot play next week under no circumstances. Martinelli, forget Martinelli. We, Martinelli wasted his opportunity. We wasted Martinelli's opportunity. We played Martinelli because we wanted to play the high line. Why do we want to play the high line? Because, you know, you know, allegedly, Delish and, and Dyer haven't got the pace. And they haven't got the pace. They haven't got the pace of, um, you know, of a Kim. They haven't got the pace of, of, of a Mercado. But the situation is, if you pass the ball too slowly, you're not making those um, incisive passes. If you're not up in the tempo in the last field, Last mm. um, third, yeah, second no, half, second half, the shambles. Oh, mate. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, the second half was an absolute shambles. We were so slow and methodical in the second yeah, half. Yeah, yeah but that's, that's the thing. That's the thing. You've wasted, Mar- uh, you know, the team selection of Martinelli. You play Martinelli because you want to get on that high line. Now, people may say, well, maybe if uh, maybe we've been able to do that in um, in Munich no, next Wednesday, but I don't think we can do that. We can even risk that because at the end mm. of the day, if they've got more of the ball and their best form of defence is actually to control possession and control the tempo because they are not very good defensively. And they, there were a few, um, you know, Lauren Hardy moments for them. The fact is, then I'm sorry, you're going to have to play Trossard next week or 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 um, Jesus. They haven't got the pace of Martin. They, they're not a direct Martin, but they have this kind of to say quoi. Yeah, they, they, because, they didn't do what I expected them to do. They weren't yeah. playing that high line. They sat back. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, down, yeah, yeah which yeah, is yeah, where yeah, Martinelli. Should have probably come but, uh, off a, yeah, a, a, and, a lot and, earlier. And, and yeah, and I have to say, you know, right, we got away with it. We got we got a draw, and we, mm. we know we got we got we, we got we got something, maybe a bit, um, you know, twenty five percent chance of getting through. But I thought Tuchel um, outwitted um, Arteta tactically today. Well, come on, course he would, man. Fucking hell, come on. Uh, what did uh, you uh, make of the penalty? You was at the stadium, Kenny. Well, that's, that's uh, what was question. the general consensus on well, the pen? Because I've seen Ian White. Everyone was going absolutely mad. <laughs> because where we, where we were, it was a case where noise. Oh, you're right in line with it as well. We're, we're right in line. So I'm, I'm, where, where I'm sitting, I'm on the penalty spot. So noise hesitates. But, you know, Saka's got a bit excited. Now, I'm sorry. You, you, either do, you either try and dink him. Or you get around him and you you, you you go for the goal. You don't go. Do Declan was running in. Trossard yeah, were running yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, even though you know hindsight is twenty twenty, and we're saying, oh, he did the wrong thing. The fact is, we all bait for a penalty. We couldn't understand what happened, so we're all yeah. we're all we're all phoning them relatives and friends and saying what happened there. And I, I spoke to a good friend of mine, um, Andy Nunn, and Andy Nunn insists it was no penalty. He says that from what he told me is that sack of hang out and leg. And then and, and the ref, ref and the referee, it was checked by VAR, and they said no, no penalty. So yeah. from that respect, it's it's a different experience from being in the ground and then watching it on TV because TV is you know what I call hindsight, you know, um, 
watch the game is the fairy tale, but in we real all time, it have... in the emotion. Yeah. But then when you watch it yeah. without the emotion, well, when the game comes, so, so the thing is, I haven't got to see it. I've got to get my get get home, and then I'll be able to. Never in a million it, years, yeah, but, but well, our two all-time leading scorers have both come out on two different platforms yeah. tonight. And said never a pen. Oh well, fair, so fair, I, I, I've got respect. I've got I've got the greatest respect for that because I spoke to obviously Lee. The other Lee, and he, he, oh, he's he, going viral right now. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, 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 he's insistent it's a penalty, and obviously, I spoke to Big Russ and I spoke to Jenny, and I, they're talking about European, um, you know, European um, accounting. But the fact is, where, 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 whether you look at those situations, the good things we did was actually the goal from um, Saka. I thought it was a fantastic goal. Oh, great finish. It, Dwight, 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 great play. Havertz won the ball back and he, he yeah, swam. Exactly. And ben and White with a weight to pass. And, and, and the way Saka used used a sort of like the defender to shield shield him from um, you know like shield him away from um, mm. you know, Neuer. And then you know good play by Jesus, good pass for um, you know Trossard, and he makes it two two. So that is the positive. But the situation is, you know, there's a lot of positives in how we played this season, especially in the league. But in terms of European Cup. We have to be realistic about how we're going to do in Europe, because you know we're playing a world. Cl- we're playing a team that's probably um, struggling for confidence in the Bundesliga. But you know, a wounded animal is very, very dangerous. At the end of the day, bears may be cuddly, but they have claws as well. And Bayern Munich <laughs> today showed that they have claws, and that they're going to give everything to win this competition. Who knows? You never know what could happen. We could we could play a lot better. We may we may do a top hospital like you know as of five years ago. You know, we, no one gave them a chance in um, Amsterdam, and they went and um, found themselves in the Champions League final. Not many people are going to give us a chance in Munich, but you never know. But we've got to play a lot better. We've got to kick the ball a bit better. But however, mm. heads must be high because I don't want any distractions from the league. Facts. You know, and the fact is is that it's Aston Villa now. On, on Sunday, we need to f- forget what happened today. Don't you know? Because the other the day, there's a there's a, there's fingertips on that trophy for all three teams, but mostly us because we're the ones with the goal difference. So concentration has to be now on Aston Villa. Put them away, and then after Aston Villa, you can think about the second leg. Forget about it. Training has to be Operation Villa. Forget about today. You know. We may not get. We, we're, it's highly likely. It's it's very likely anyway that we're not going to get through. But we've got to look at this as a learning curve for how we're going to play next season when we get the Champions League and you know get better personnel and you know and get some first team players and try and get players like Tim to fit. Maybe Tim would have done a lot better. But at the end of the day, you know, been off the Champions League if you must and concentrate in this league because I'll tell you one thing. I want this title badly. Come on. Yeah, I'm safely, Kenny. Always love. Make sure you follow Kenny Ken 1972. I'll repost your stuff when I'm done, Kenny. Yeah, always oh, love. Definitely. I'm safely, mate. And uh, listen, it's what it is, man. We move on to Aston Villa at the weekend. Yeah, you, you, you have to you have to concentrate on Aston Villa. You have to. Oh, yeah, and that's, that's not going to be easy either, but it's we're going to have easy, one but, eye on that. Yeah, but, yeah, but remember, remember, Villa don't have... Villa, Villa did not have players like Harry Kane, Mane, Musiala, and uh, this is Kobe. very true. And we're at home again, so and, yeah, and come there's on. No Douglas Luiz as well. There's no Douglas Luiz. Facts. Get home safely, man. Love you always, man. Take love care. You, love you. So far.